Hello there guys, Francis Gray here and today we are going to be taking a look at the Grim Reaper styrene kit made by Mobius Models. It's a 1 to 8 scale, which is not a bad scale actually, it's not a bad size. Uh, features uh, the iconic uh, look of the Grim Reaper that we all know and love. Uh, made most famously for, I suppose, the Ghost of Christmas Future from Dickens' uh, Christmas Carol. Uh, obviously was uh, really famous during the, uh, the Black Plague that swept through Europe. Uh, so yes, yeah, so classic horror related gothic character. So yeah, let's open the box and take a look. Okay, so we're hit with the instructions first of all. Uh, same uh, picture on the, as the main uh, cover out on the box. Uh, obviously Mobius models. There's the... Uh, build up instructions so looks like the hoods in three pieces then the uh, skull then the cloak is two uh, that might be the back of this I don't know it might be three pieces uh, two pieces to his right arm or right shoulder two pieces to the left arm and obviously the hands two main pieces to the main cloak and body uh, we've got the rope ties at the front, and then we've got two parts of the hourglass. Uh, then we've got this main side blade, the main, two parts to the main side handle, uh, and then we've got two cut-off bits where obviously your hands would hold the the uh, the, the handle. There, uh, the then we've got quite a few parts to the tree. Uh, two main parts of the main body, then we've got three separate branches, and then we've got a part B to that branch, and then a, a regular small off-cut piece. Uh, various bits of sticky out grass, uh, and then we've got the main base for it all, uh, and we've got uh, part A and part B to one of the uh, gravestones, and then Part A and Part B, and then our base, which is Part C, to the uh, the other gravestone. So getting on the back there, we've got the story of the Reaper. Uh, that's basically talking about the history going back from like Greek mythology. That he, uh, he was a ferryman, and you give him two coins. He, he took you across the River Styx to the afterlife, and then obviously the Black Death uh, in Europe. And uh, yeah, right up to uh, modern day, I suppose. Yeah, uh, contact information, picture of the model built up. Uh, yeah, so that's more or less it for the instructions. So let's get to the actual kit parts. Okay, so there's the uh, first part of the tree and the second part of the tree. So I can see this being uh, a pretty decent size once uh, once put together. So I'll give you a close up of them. So then we go on to. Uh, the main base, uh, nice big decent size to it, uh, obviously gravestone A, gravestone B, tree, reaper itself, Sai. Looks like they might have planned on making a nameplate, uh, unfortunately they haven't, they, or unfortunately they didn't. I, I believe somebody, or they might re-release it later on and they did, or somebody made one separate uh, I can't I'm not right too sure on that but I do know that that was a unfortunately that wasn't uh, a, a, a feature that included 
or at least in this version of the kit. Then we've got the Reaper's Psy, um, nice decent size, obviously part A, part B, uh, and then the Psy Blade. So a nice good size to that, I'm happy with that. And we've got uh, the Skull, the Rope and the Sash, uh, extra uh, the other hand. Uh, and then these are obviously parts to the hood. So yeah, uh, nice detail in the skull there. That might be that way, wouldn't it? So I don't know, I hope that's showing up okay. And then we've got part A and part B to the main cloak. So obviously that just looks like it would be a straight fit together. Oh man, this was the best part. There's the second part. Uh, these are obviously parts to the hood. So there's some text written on here, so the first one says R.I.P. Jeffrey fell from a belfry um, and the other one says here lies Frank, love to dance, now he waltzes with the ants. So yeah, nice little bit of uh, comedy I suppose there, uh, which is a bit strange to say it comes with such a serious kit, but I suppose if you've got a dark sense of humour. Uh, it'll work. Uh, me, myself, when I go to make mine up, I might go over these with something a little bit more serious. So yeah, so then we have random blades of grass that sticks up. And then that's the base to one of the headstones. Nothing much to that. And then... We have the shoulder uh, parts to the robe. And then last but not least is the hourglass. Comes in a little protective seal. Let's open this up. Okay, so as you can see there, it comes uh, printed out on uh, clear plastic. So it's obviously uh, in a wrapper to help protect it from scratches. This is a piece that I suppose you'd have to look after the most. Because if something was going to break or scratch, I presume it would be that one. So yeah, so uh, all in all, I uh, really like the look of this one. Uh, I've already started gathering a few accessories to go with this. Uh, for example, I, uh, I printed off, or I had made a uh, Grim Reaper uh, logo, which is obviously the same logo on the box. So that's uh, gonna make its way on there somewhere. So yeah, so I don't want to go too in-depth on what I'm planning to build because I'll keep that for the next video. This was just a quick look out of the actual model kit. Uh, review, uh, where are my thoughts on the model kit? I love it. I think it's a fantastic likeness, fantastic interesting character. Definitely a must for uh, figure kit builders, especially if you're into the horror side of, of, of it. Uh, the parts look nice and clean, they look like they would go together pretty easily. Uh, if you're interested in seeing how easy they went together, uh, please check out the future videos, because uh, I will be documenting this build. And uh, yeah, so that's about it really. Uh, please check back at a later date. Um, 
yeah if you like this quick look at smash that like button and uh, don't forget to subscribe uh, so you don't miss out on this future build and any other future builds and uh, yeah uh, thank you for tuning in and uh, see you next time thank you very much goodbye